What is going on, everybody? It's Chris the Dog, and bring you week four of the Nas Fan Online Dynasty. This week, I'll be taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes, and hopefully upsetting them. But that's not a great start, as taking a sack for a ten-yard loss. So coming after off a miserable defeat of the South Carolina Gamecocks, we look to actually catch a ball, but yeah, that didn't happen that time. And actually move the ball down the field. So third and twenty, Jonathan Perry takes off and gets thirteen on the play. But UAB will be forced to punt and Ohio State will score. First and ten, ball better down at the uh D line and now second and ten. Franklin or er, Perry looking back to pass. Davis left wide open. He will score and UAB ties it up. 7-7 seven to seven. after a stop by the UAB defense and there's a sack he would had no time to do anything on that play 2nd and 15 for UAB Perry snap looking back the pass throws it over the middle Nelson can't make the catch and we're picking up from where we were last time as no one can make a catch and there's an interception for Jonathan Perry so UAB has not been faring so well <clears throat> to start this season off as Ohio State takes a 14-7 lead. They have been just, wide receiver core has been just horrible pretty much except for the Troy game where they were absolutely great. But when they play real players or real teams, they can't do jack squat. And yeah, we'll hopefully... This is pretty much going to be a long, long first season. Hopefully, I'm just hoping we can just get to a bowl game. I'm, that's my expectations for this team, a bowl game. Nothing more, just a bowl game. But right now, 1-1, one and one, looks like this game is pretty much gone. As Ohio State will take a 28-7 to seven lead, and no one can still catch a ball in this freaking wide receiver core. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Third and ten. Perry's stepping back, looking to pass. Throws. Williams actually makes a catch, but is taken down near the 15 yard line. So, first and ten, UAB. Perry back to pass, looking. Throws to Backman, who will make the catch out near the 10 yard line, as now he has 178 yards on five completions. Now, first or second and one, looking back to pass. Perry's going to run with it, and he will score. And UAB is only down now by 17. Yeah, 17. Now, first and 10, throws to Backman, who will get it out at the 40 with one minute remaining in the first half. Now, second and 15, Perry looking back to pass. All day, but he will run with it. And... Gain 11 yards on the play. So timeout UAB, third and four. Perry looking back to pass. Throws to Williams who will get out or get down near the 50-yard line for the first down. Now second and ten. Perry looking back to pass. Throws to Williams who makes a diving catch, which you haven't seen many of those in this so far in the Stein scene. Now first and ten. Throws to Franklin who makes the catch. First down and goal at the two, and he is injured. Now first and goal, looking at the pass, throws to Nelson who just walks out of it, just walks straight out. So now second and ten, looking at the pass, throws to Height who will actually stay in bounds and score a touchdown. And UAB is only down 13 at this point. So first and ten, Perry going to run with it. He will gain at least five yards on the play, but has fumbled the ball and UAB that looked like they were going to stay in this ball game is now down 20. So now first and 10 overthrows Backman who was wide, wide open. So second and 10 for Jonathan Perry and the UAB Blazers. Looking back the pass throws almost intercepted by the Ohio State defense. So Perry sacked again on this play and they will be forced to no, well, we'll go for it, apparently. So, 4th and 17, looking back to pass. Knocked down, and Ohio State takes over. 
And we'll get another touchdown to take a 27-point lead. Now first and 10 throws an interception to Barnett. And he will be down at the 25-yard no, line where Ohio State is pretty much pulling away with this one. It was a 13-point lead at one point for Ohio State. Now it's a 30-point lead as Jonathan Perry fumbles the ball again. We're pretty much going to recruit everywhere. And there's another fumble. And this time it's actually picked up by UAB. But you look at that. 11 hurries and 5 sacks. Second 16. Perry looking back the pass. Throws. Tipped at the line of scrimmage. Franklin can't get it. And it's tipped at like 5 times. And could have been picked off by pretty much the whole Ohio State team. So now 3rd and 16. Looking back the pass. Throws and overthrows his man. And UAB on 4th and 16 will go for it. Now, here we go. Perry looking back to pass. Throws. Caught by Height. First down, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Offsides on Ohio State. They will decline and keep moving the chains. So, Perry looking back to pass. Throws to Greg Franklin, who is down at the 55-yard line. First down, UAB. Now, second and fakes the handoff to Franklin, looking back to pass. He will run with it and will get drilled. And there's a fumble. Howard picks it up in Ohio State. Pretty much ends this one of any hope for UAB. As here, I just got tired of it and put in the backups. Because this game was pretty much over from the start of the third quarter. As Ohio State will take home the victory and UAB will drop to 1 and 2 on the young season. 51 to 21. This offense has just not been doing great at all besides the Troy game. As you look at the Ohio State players and fans all hyped up as they start 3 and 0. Jonathan Perry miserable game as you look at everyone else who played this week in all the games that were finished at the point I did my game. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. I will hopefully be bringing you a winning game next week. Peace.